everybody for being here today. I know it's a Friday. And I'd also like to apologize for those who try to use our people for Grab. They seem to get technical difficulties, so we have to check with Grab what happened. But anyway, we really wanted everybody to feel special today. That's why we try to think of everything that we could do to make this event very meaningful to everyone. So I'd like to tell you, um, yeah, I guess when I was going around this morning, people were also asking people what they were expecting today. And I think a lot of people are wondering what led us to come up with this event. And uh, I know some of you have been to some of events in the past, and uh, you know, it's all about investing, and this time it's going to be different. But let me share with you a story. Five years ago, we started a campaign called For a Richer Life. And we interviewed many of our customers and asked them how they would define a richer life. And we were amazed by the many things that we learned from the responses of over 100 customers who told us what the Richard Life story was for them. And uh, one thing that I remember the most was this call ambassador, which you see in our website. His name is Wyman Filipinas from Cebu. And uh, I was really uh, particularly struck by his response. To him, he said, a richer life means being able to help others without having to ever worry about himself. For our first talk, we'd like to call on stage one of the Philippines' top financial literacy advocates. She's my peg, actually. She is a behavioral economist and previously an investment banker turned full-time homemaker and is now a Philippine star columnist, a speaker, and the author of bestsellers about personal and family finance. Let us welcome here on stage, let's give a hand for F.Q. Mom herself, the beautiful Miss Rose Press Pasto. Thank you, the beautiful Mayi. <laughs> Happy 20th anniversary to COL, dalawang dekada na pala. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Kumusta po kayo? You know, I am very honored and this is such a great honor and privilege to be introducing our keynote speaker for today's event. If you are, she's really very dear to my heart and I'll tell you the story later on how, no? If you're familiar with the national artist, that's the highest distinction given to a Filipino artist, there is a counterpart called the National Social Scientist. And we only have two recipients of that prestigious award. One of them is our keynote speaker. Ambonga, di ba? But wait, there's more. She is also the first recipient of the Outstanding Professional of the Year for Psychologists given by the Professional Regulatory Commission, the most outstanding psychologist given by the Psychological Association of the Philippines, outstanding alumna of the UB Social Sciences and Philosophy, Doctor of Science Honoris Causa given by the Ateneo de Manila University, former president of the Psychological Association of the Philippines, former chair and professor of the Ateneo de Psychology Department, head of research and intervention programs of the street children, abused children, family violence and healing, trauma disaster OFW families. She was also a national consultant for the UN's Office of Drugs and Crime, Pioneer in family therapy, play therapy, trauma management, mindfulness practice, having trained by the Zen masters and also the teachings of the Dalai Lama. She was a psychology cum laude graduate from UP, took her master's in Ateneo, doctorate at the University of California, Davis, and she has 13 best-selling books, such as the Filipino Children Under Stress, Making Connections, a group therapy program for autistic children, self-worth and Filipino child, na wala ang ilaw ng tahanan on families left behind by OFW mothers, and many more. And ito a bridge version lang ng list of credentials si Dr. Honey. But what makes her even more special is her generosity. And I'd like to share with you a short story on my personal experience of that generosity. Almost
almost a decade ago in 2010 when I attempted to write my first book, Raising Pinoy Boys. By the way, sino ang may alam nun? Sobrang konti pa, ha? So, mamaya, sa labas, bumili kayo ng libro. Pagkatapos yung bilhin niyo mga 13 books ni Dr. Honey. Anyway, so, after I wrote, I finished the manuscript of Raising Pinoy Boys. Nangarap ako. Sabi ko, sana the foreword would be written by the country's top psychologist. But of course, I wasn't sure. Nakita niyo naman ang credentials. Napaka-busy, ano? But then, so sabi ko, sige, sino pa ba ang pwede kung hindi siya? Pero siya talaga yung gusto ko. And you know what? When you, you say it out there to the universe, what you really want, things happen. This is what happened. A few days after, I was at National Bookstore at the Edsa Shangri-La branch. I was looking for a book. Pagtingin ko, oh my God, guess who was there? Dr. Honey. So sabi ko, Lord, ito ba ang sign? <laughs> so I approached her, ano? Sabi ko, Hi, Dr. Honey. My name is Rose Press Fausto. I've listened to you give talks at the school of my sons. So, at that point, I was trying to size up how she would react. Siyempre, if she would just say, hi, and then go back to choosing her book, sasabihin ko, ah, hindi, she doesn't want to be bothered. But you know what? She just didn't say hi. She engaged me in a conversation. So, sabi ko, oh, ito na nga. Tatanihin ko na ba? Then I go, ah, you know, Dr. Honey, I wrote a book about raising children, about raising my sons. And I also interviewed the, the parents of Lance Gokongwei, Tony Meloto, Tony Tan Kaktiong, um, Bo Sanchez, Chris Tew, etc. Would you, sabi ko, be kind enough to write the foreword? That was ito na, no? I was holding my breath already. Sabi ko, ano na kaya yung sasabihin niyang reason she's busy or whatever. But you know what she said? Sure, send me the manuscript. I'm going to Boston, but I'll try to read it on my way there. So really, thank you very much for that generosity because that paved the way for my second wind of writing about money and family. And I will always be forever grateful, Dr. Honey, for that generosity. So I would like to encourage all of you to make the most out of that generosity that we'll be having today when she shares with us, with us what she knows about this topic. As you listen to her, write down your notes now and then ask during our Q&A because this is your chance to be able to get free advice. Wala na kailangan appointment. Okay? Okay ba? Yeah, yeah. Let's be a little yeah. bit more ano. Okay ba? Yeah. Okay, so let's all welcome warmly Dr. Honey Karandang. for that wonderful and generous introduction. <laughs> She's a good friend. means otherwise you can't you know move but beyond that what they found was to have meaningful relationships okay yes. to aid your own small circle of caring compassionate and kind people right now maybe five of you have the same kind of like-minded start with the small circle because that's how you will survive so much adversity. That's one of the main factors for resilience. You form your own, create your own circle of caring. One day, Henry James goes, Uncle, what are the three things I must do in my life in order to, to be okay? William James says, Henry, the first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. So I hope we will choose kindness because uh, it is starting to be extinct in our world. Be kind, be kind, be kind. Uh, I took notes. Sabi ni Dr. Honey, respond, don't react. So kung lumalaglag ang market, ang gagawin natin? Yan. Tapos pag sa umaga, 
Lalo na yung mga nagtitrade ng international market, wag mo nang titsik ang market. Thank you. 